mass trials or show trials, depending on which side you're on, in Iran. The fourth session of the post-election trials uh, is underway. Uh, the prosecution has charged several leading reformists with, and I quote, trying to launch a soft coup d'etat. About 140 people have already appeared in court on offences linked to the mass protests that followed the 12th June election that kept President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad in power. We're now joined by Fahad Puladi, AFP's Tehran correspondent. Thanks for joining us, Fahad. Several prominent reformists are in the dock, I understand. Can you tell us more about who's on trial? Uh, yes. Uh, today, uh, leading members of two reformist political party who have supported uh, or had uh, some positions during the reformist president Khatami's era, 1997 to 2005, and then later they put uh, they put their weight behind uh, the campaign of Mr. Musa. We were in dock today. Some of them were former um, deputy ministers, and some of them were uh, leading uh, parliamentarians uh, during that era. The common denominator of today's uh, comment they made in the court was that the election was correct, so backing down from uh, what they said before, that the election was a fraud and that they are wrong and they had apologized to the Iranian people. They also said that they had some link to the foreigners. And so to what extent do you think that the authorities will succeed through these trials in undermining the opposition? Well, the uh, opposition leaders uh, like Mr. Karoubi, the defeated candidate, and Mr. Musavi have, uh, have, uh, also, uh, have so far kept their words uh, saying that the election is a fraud and they had asked for annulment of it. Uh, they have not uh, changed their opinion, but uh, so far the aides have been put on a trial and uh, more trials are we should expect in coming days. So far the trial has not been over and uh, some other uh, prominent people are still waiting their turn. And moving on to another high-profile trial there in Iran, an article published today in the French newspaper Le Parisien says that the uh, Iranian ambassador to France thinks, thinks that uh, Clotilde Reis, that young French academic who was put on trial in Tehran, is guilty of spying. What do you make of that accusation? Well, the uh, official thing that was mentioned here uh, a week ago uh, regarding Ms. Rice was that she had, connect, uh, she had uh, participated in illegal gathering and then taking photos and uh, uh, adding them to some material, writing material, and sending them uh, to, uh, uh, to outside Iran. Uh, they didn't come with an actual word of spying for her. So, and uh, so far, the, we have to see, wait and see to see whether there is another session for Ms. Rice or not. So um, I cannot speculate into what the ambassador said. We have to see what the judiciary will decide. Thanks for joining us, Fahad Baladi in Tehran.